This is the latest advert for the controversial time traveling holiday company, Another Country. In the past year, hundreds of people have booked time travel holidays, visiting everywhere from the Big Bang to ancient Rome. Some people have even gone back to revisit holidays they had when they were younger. So excited, we're going to Rome. To see Caesar get killed, again. We always go to Italy, lovely weather this time of year. What time of year? March, around the eye. The genius inventor behind another country is the flamboyant Boris Amblehausen. He has rejected critics' claims that the technology could be dangerous, saying it is all fully regulated, just like the world's pharmaceutical, food and nuclear industries. Where would you go if it were your holiday? No, we don't go anywhere exotic. We just like to go back to before we had kids and before we were married. It's nice to see yourself when you were so happy. Those people are idiots. I think it's interesting. You wanna go on a time travel holiday, Gov? I'd never go on one. Haven't you heard Asimov? Hawking? Christ, haven't they even seen Doctor Who? You don't mess with wibbly wobbly timey wimey. But they're in the bubble gov. They can't interact, they can only watch. Might as well hire a DVD then. You're just a bit old fashioned, gov. What's wrong with a caravan holiday in the latest strip? That's what I want to know. I think watching the actual Caesar get actually stabbed by the actual Brutus is a bit more interesting than just staring at a pond gun. Do you know the code for this thing? We're the police girl. It's 999. The president has gone mad. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, ma'am. He's holed up in the bunker, locked in, with all the nuclear codes, threatening to blow the world up on his 70th birthday. Which is when? Wednesday. Can't you just open the door, drag him out, give him a cake or something? Sounds like his sugar levels have dropped. Not only, really, ma'am. He's got the codes. The bunker is bomb-proof. So what you're saying is, we can't get to him. Even worse, he's been posting absurd stuff on social media. What's new? That's all he's ever done. This is a new level. Madness. Such as? He says the same woman has threatened him on every birthday since he was 10. Apparently this woman ghosting has been telling him for 60 years that he better have a billion dollars in bearer bonds ready for her on his 70th birthday. Or she'll kill him. That's ridiculous. The same woman? That's what we thought, ma'am. But our time travel head, Tancho, Bill Price, says it's possible. You mean someone has been regularly travelling back to blackmail the president? Not regularly. They probably did it all in one afternoon. Yeah, nip back for two minutes, threaten him, and then go back for another two minutes on another year. But the rules are strict. No interacting. That's what the bubble is for. But if someone found a way to get outside the bubble... I thought that was impossible. It's supposed to be. And ma'am, the technology is only a year old. If the president is telling the truth... I very much doubt he is. If he's telling the truth, it's someone blackmailing him now from the present. Open the star, we're getting worried. Never, not till you find her. Mr. President, could you?
you at least give us the nuclear football back? I'm the Supreme Commander. If I choose to launch all of America's missiles, you can't stop me. No, sir, we can't. But if you launch even one missile, millions will die in retaliation. As long as I don't die, I don't care. So now go away. I'm tweeting. Please stop tweeting. You're upsetting everyone. On my 12th birthday, the lady with the gun appeared in my toilet and again told me to have the money on my 70th birthday or she'll kill me. I wet my pants. On my 25th birthday, my girlfriend went to buy coffee and the lady with the gun suddenly appeared at our breakfast table. Same threat. She disappeared as I threw a croissant at her. She made my 35th birthday even worse by suddenly appearing at my dad's funeral and saying, that'll be you if you don't bring the money. What were the Americans thinking? This guy's a loon. Does seem a bit disturbed, Gov. What gets me is how his advisors let him do it. If I was his aide, I'd be like Sleeping Beauty's parents and lock up all the spindles, if you know what I mean. True. If you leave spindles lying around, someone will get a nasty prick. I wish you lot had confiscated the president's phone. It's embarrassing. You're head of the US Armed Force, Banks, and you can't even get into your own building. No lectures from you, please. Hey, hey, guys. I'm just a humble programmer. Throwing insults at each other won't help. Fair point. But you're only supposed to get inside if the people inside let you in. Price, I pulled you in to ask you a question. Could the president be telling the truth? Look, these are all the people who worked on the project. It's top secret. Everything had to be contained or it could be a real threat to mankind from time travel. Yeah, one person goes back far enough and interacts with the wrong monkey. Boom! Humans never existed. So, we know the name of every person on that project. Right, if there's the lady with the gun, she's on that list. That's easy, just run up all the women. There were 1,500 women working on this project. Damn! We've got 50 ages we can spare. Send them back to some of the president's birthdays. We may see the lady with the gun. But we are short-staffed. I'm going to call my old college mate, Brad Daltrey. He's the best detective I ever met. What agency does he work for? He doesn't. He's at Scotland Yard in London. He's also a computer whiz who hates time travel. Get him over if you think it'll help. I already have. Thanks for letting me join you, Gov. Don't be too flattered. I hate flying on my own. Nervous flyer, are we? 650 miles per hour in a pressurised Coca-Cola can, 35,000 feet in the air. Sure, what's there to be worried about? Flight 219, now. The president. You! It's, it's now my birthday. I've known you for almost six years. Surely I can just drop in for a chat. What do you want? It's your 70th in a few days' time. I thought I'd come and check in on you, see if you've got my bombs ready. Y yes, but I don't trust you. I thought I'd be safe here. I can find you anywhere. You know, my mother used to say to me, Nothing is hidden from the eyes of God, a hawk, or me. That's a terrible thing. Don't you insult my mum. She brought me up all by herself in poverty, unlike you with a silver spoon, fork and knife sticking out your ugly gob. My mother and father are slaves for their wealth. I'm sure they did. You didn't know. I watched you on your 10th birthday. You were eating lobster. You probably thought it was crab stick. What did you have on your attempt birthday? How dare you! I had a cake made of dust and a present made of air. My mum was doing three shifts a day just to pay for rent. Neither of us chose our parents. J 
Just make sure you have those bums on your birthday or you die. Why do I call you? Well, the idiots at the agency are calling me the lady with the gun. If you try to kill me, I'll rain nuclear missiles on China. I don't care. I don't live in China and I don't care about the Chinese. But if I blow the world up now, where will you live on the future? Just make sure the bombs are ready for me. Is no one safe anymore? The lady with the gun just came again. Sad. This is damn serious, you idiot. Someone has been interacting with the past. How? The bubble's unbreakable. They can see the past, but the past can't see them. Yeah, well, we think someone's been messing with the president's mind. Didn't know he had one. A lady with a gun has visited him every birthday for 60 years. He's worried she's going to come again on Wednesday for his 70th. And your point is? If he doesn't give her a billion in bear bonds, she's going to kill him. You mean cracked up under the strain, you mean? He's better make a new China if she appears. Ah, uh, that is serious. But I still don't see how. If someone man even manages to crack the bubble, they'll only be able to be there for one minute. If the bubble dies, they'll be stuck in the past. Permanently. Yeah, well, we think someone's managed to hack it. You better come over and join the squad. I started it. I better finish it. Wow, we're going into the actual CAA. I feel proper now. Don't kid yourself. It's a zoo in there, and all the animals are tigers. What are we then? Dinner probably. I'm stumped, Amblehausen. Think the British guy will come up with someone? Jeez, you have the whole of American intelligence here. What's he gonna add? It's no such thing as American intelligence. Huh? CIA? FBI? NSA? He means there is no such thing as American intelligence ever since we have elected President Dogwell. Ah, roger that. Great to have you on board, Anvil Housen. So, it's against the law to use first names on here, right? Hopeless. Needing the haystack stuff. Actually, I'm glad I'm here. Do you know what a train of custody is? Sure. That's the paper trail police keep when they're collecting evidence. Right. It's also the first thing I think of. Who has ever had contact with the time travel bracelets? All 1,500 women? Or like five. I need those five names right now. Easy, Tiger. We're all on the same side, you know. I can't assume that. You know, I never wanted to be a criminal, but working in a government made me one. Politicians lie, government officials cheat, and all of them, mostly men, milk the system for all it is worth. But what can a girl like me do? They'll never let me get to the top. Wrong school, wrong background, maybe it has literally driven me mad. Seeing that fool Dogwell on TV boasting about his business, his family fortune and the way he throws his money about, like it's not important, drove me mad. They're all in there now, 95% rich white men hoping to preserve a world in which they can have holiday homes, big cars and girlfriends on the side. It makes me sick. When I get that money, things will change around here. My mother used to say to me that when she bumped into my father in the street, he gave her a rose. It was the only present he ever gave her. I'm glad he walked out on us. He was a lousy dad and a lousy husband. Mr. President, I'm going to find the person responsible for this and bring them in. You better hurry then or I'm going to press the button. Don't think I won't. I believe you, Mr. President. I'm going to do five names. Tell me what you think. Okay. Rose Hampton. Best secretary ever. 
Eliza Brown. She did a good job of spraying and stabbing at an attack on the White House. Misty Grace. Never heard of her. Bobby Mendelssohn. She's great too. Works with Jen in the uh, White House press office. Elizabeth Callion. She works in the NSA. Top woman. Thanks, Mr. President. Please don't push any buttons just yet. And what if the lady with the gun turns up again? Hello? 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 Are you there? Well, that's rude. Sad. What is it, Gov? He didn't say anything. You're really jumpy. Don't you see? He only knew four of the names on that list. And there were five women who handed the bracelets. He, he, he'd only seen it was the gun 60 times. But he didn't know a name. So it couldn't have been one of those four. So that just leaves Mr. Grace. Right. So you think that the lady with the gun is Mr. Grace? Maybe. Possibly. Probably. The British guy said the lady with the gun is probably... Misty Grace, CIA agent. Who is she? Very clever woman. We discussed the ethics of time travel once. And does she look like a time traveling terrorist to you? Not at all. Well, is it her or isn't it? Call her in. Make us sound like we're having a chat about a promotion. Good luck. What's a girl? stuff about her mom and dad. Is she even stable? I worked with her. Let me talk. We should lock her up. We don't know that she's done anything yet. I can't believe she would do this. I can. And Doctree is really wrong. Wow. What type of promotion is this? We just want to chat. You mean you want to know if I stole that time bracelet and threatened the idiot president? Misty Grace, you have the right to remain silent. I've been silent my whole damn life. Privileged scum like you ran it for me. No more. Remember who you're talking to. What are you doing? Getting rid of the evidence. What evidence? You. Oh, Mr. President, I know I'm early, but do you have my bombs? Don't make me come in there. God, I think we'll be slow. No time for that. They're still warm, this just happened. Misty, there's a personnel file. They called her in. Gov, look! Incoming nuclear missiles, take cover. Incoming nuclear My missiles. My God, take she cover. actually did it. Pop all his great missiles. Take cover. What? Incoming now! Nuclear missiles, take cover. Incoming 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 nuclear missiles. What? Missy's mum and dad are about to meet. If they don't, she'll never be born. But I thought you were only allowed to step outside the bubble for a minute. That's right. And if we do do this, we'll be here for longer than a minute. Yes. And we'll be stuck here forever. With them. But we saved the world. This was not in the detective job description, Gov.
Nabelhausen. I have my top team here, and uh, we have bad news. Mr. President? Time travel, we've concluded, is just too risky. Just too risky. We're shutting your program down. Sad. That's it. They've shut down another country and destroyed all the time travel technology. We both know how good of a decision that is. We're the only ones who know how good a decision that is. How did it feel having to lead your life again after being stuck in 1990? Well, like you, I remembered my old one. It was easy to steer my way back here. I wish you hadn't married that woman though. I know, the divorce is painful. That's not what I meant. Hi Dad, hi Lucy. Guess what? I've got a new job interview at MI5. That's great, Miss Lily. <laughs>